Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Florida Keys Birding. Today we're going to be talking about a bird that only visits the Florida Keys in the spring. Um, recently this bird was here for quite a few weeks. We don't see them in the fall, but we do see them every spring. So um, I got a lot of good pictures of it and I wanted to talk a little bit about the Black Paul Warbler. Okay, so the Black Paul Warbler it is a most highly migratory wood warbler. The black paw breeds across the boreal forest as far north as West Alaska and it winters mainly east of the Andes in northern South America. In the spring, its migration is mainly north through peninsular Florida or across the Gulf of Mexico, but in the fall it is quite easterly which explains why we don't see them in the fall but we see them in the spring. So with many birds apparently flying well over the Atlantic from the Northeast states and the provinces. So let's talk a little bit about what it looks like in the description so that you can identify one of these birds. As you can see in the pictures, um, the males are black and white. Um, they have a white cheek framed with a black cap and a black mustachial stripe hmm. <laughs> it kind of does look like that and is distinctive um, the females in the spring though are quite variable they can be an olive with dark streaks above and white with yellowish wash below with some streaking um, fall birds are generally olive above with dark streaks yellowish on the throat and breast and white on the lower belly and undertail coverts Something that you can also count on when you're identifying um, a black paw warbler are the wing bars, the yellow tint on the throat, the white undertail, and the orange feet. So the orange feet is something that I figured out this year about identifying them, and it's pretty much, you know, you can pretty much identify them, the females, a lot easier with the orange feet, because you'll see different warblers that look kind of similar to the female black paw warblers and you may be having a hard time identifying them but just check out the orange feet and legs and you're like oh there you go <laughs> so um, it's a lot easier to figure out what they look like like that so let's talk a little bit about behavior um, they stay fairly high in the trees um, and they work their way out and along limbs. This is true. Um, I find them here in the Keys in the Jamaica dogwood trees. They also like the gumbo limbo trees with the berries and the flowering plants and all that. Um, there's some other bushes that had berries this year that they seem to really love. So, um, and they're were easy to photograph because they did stay up high in the trees and you know like it said that they work along the the limb of the tree so they would kind of come in and out so they were kind of easier to to follow um, and this says that they're also rather sluggish and deliberate warblers feeding most often um, by gleaning in the spring on, bre on breeding grounds, black paws tend to feed in the middle and upper levels and they stay within the canopy. Foraging is mostly uh, lower in the fall. Now I haven't observed them in the fall, um, but if you have, you know, let me know if this is true because um, I haven't seen it. I've seen them up high in the spring. Talking a little bit about habitat and where you'll find them, like I had said before, um, here in the Keys, when they were migrating through, I found them a lot in the Jamaica dogwoods and the gumbo limbo trees. Um, but if you're up north and you're seeing them in the summer, um, you would find them in the coniferous forests during breeding season, um, and then down here, mixed forests during migration. So up north, they like the cool, wet forests of the low conifers, particularly um, stunted red spruce, black spruce, and balsam fir. Um, the stunted habitat is usually found along the northern edge of boreal forests. This includes New York and New England um, and windblown maritime regions. 
So as far as distribution goes, um, in the spring um, from South America and the Caribbean is where they're, you know, coming from. And they move over Florida, um, they can move up the Gulf Coast from Texas and all of that. And then they'll move all the way up to Canada and Alaska um, and some parts of New England. So they do move through Florida in the fall, like I said, I mean, not in the fall, I'm sorry, in the spring, like I said, but in the fall, um, they're much more easterly with their migration, um, and it's quite uncommon for the Midwestern states south of the Great Lakes in the fall um, or in Florida to find them. I personally have not seen them in the fall where I'm at, so let me know if you've seen them where you are during um, fall migration. So when they do head back north for the summer for nesting, um, they'll use a cup of twigs for nests and uh, lichen that's placed fairly high in the limb of a conifer on a flat portion of the limb. So talking about food, um, they, they do eat small winged insects, um, larval forms, egg casings and spiders but I will tell you that they seem to enjoy um, the berries and the little flowering trees the flowers in the trees I don't know if they're picking bugs out of there maybe they are <laughs> um, but they seem to enjoy the berries too um, in the gumbo limbo trees down here in South Florida um, and in preparation for migration they'll fatten up their bodies double to normal um, from their normal weight and um, out into the night, they pick up the tailwinds as far out as Bermuda that will assist them on the final leg of their journey on a nonstop flight um, from South America or in the fall to South America. So if you would like to attract a black paw warbler to come into your garden, um, like I said, they're mostly seen as a migrant. So you want to try to attract them um, during spring or fall migration, unless you live way, way, way up north, <laughs> of course. Um, so just know that they feed on insects and oaks and evergreens. Um, and down here in South Florida, you can plant gumbo limbo or Jamaica dogwood trees in your yard. And if you plant those, they will definitely come. Um, and also bird baths. Bird baths are always a surefire way to attract all kinds of bird species. Um, so if you don't want to plant those kind of plants or anything like that, you can um, just get a bird bath and that's kind of a surefire way. And you'll attract multiple warblers. <laughs> so, um, so I hope you learned a little bit more information about the black paw warbler. Um, my personal observations that I've seen down here in South Florida. Um, and you know you can know a little bit more about this bird if there's anything that i missed please comment below and let me know um, or if you have observations that are different up north when you see them let me know that as well otherwise thanks and i hope everybody has a great day